exciting day today. We're off to town at the moment. We gotta pick up some chemicals for some knockdowns um, because we're gonna start sewing tomorrow, hopefully. Right, we got our stuff. Some Terador, some Hasten, and some ammonium sulfate. We're gonna drop it off here at Dad's because that's where my roundup is. And we will be back later to put it all in the sprayer and spray out a paddock. So this is AMS ammonium sulfate. Uh, we have really good access to groundwater here from a bore um, just over there. Um, pumps into the tank, but this groundwater has a lot of minerals in it. Um, and I don't know how they found it out. Someone found out that the minerals actually tie up. Oh, that's a big spider. Jeepers. The minerals in the water actually tie up molecules in the glyphosate in the Roundup. I think that's how it works and, and it stops the Roundup from working. So if you, if you put this AMS in, it makes the water not so hard and makes the Roundup work better. I don't really know how it works, but they tell me that it works. So I do it. We're nearly out of fuel here, so got the fuel truck here to top us up. All right, we're gonna need this. Poor old nitro hasn't been going in a little while. And she's got a flat battery. I tried to start it the other day and just didn't quite have enough juice to go. So we'll give her a bit of a jump and get her going. Had some lunch, got the ag leader gear in here and I turned it on and it's told me that it has an update for it. So it's updating at the moment. Um, that will be handy because it will update as we're going. All right, we're here. We've put all of our stuff in that we need. Um, this is my first tank full for a few months. And if you've been around this kind of machinery, you know, after you haven't used it for a while, it takes some remembering how to do everything. But we got it all in. We're just waiting for it to fill up. Chelsea's brought Alex up. Once it's filled up, she'll come for a ride with me to do the spraying. Say, what up, farm? Can you say, what up, farm? Oh, okay. All right. We're out here, Alex is here with me. We're spraying, we've got that paddock over there done, we've got this paddock done. These wheel tracks are still a bit rough. They were some big wheel tracks. Anyway, ugly to right spot. Here's Chels. Ugly to right spot's doing its thing. We're going good. There they go. <laughs> oh, it was good fun having her on here for a while. What a lovely evening to be spraying. Nice to be back. I do enjoy spraying. I do enjoy this time of year. I like it. All right, so we got done. Um, <laughs> we didn't actually get done. We ran short. There's 1.7 hectares left. Um, this year too, because we've had good rains early on, um, We've had a lot of weeds germinate and to really kill those weeds the best that we possibly can, I've chosen to do a double knock. So we do the first pass of Roundup glyphosate. Um, it takes longer to work. Spray that on and then you come back, 
pre-emergent just before you sow it with glyphos uh what is it gramoxone so paraquat and that's the second knock the double knock um and that really gets all the weeds um it's not a huge thing because in canola we can spray the broad leaves out with lontrel and the grasses out with um clef but yes it will be very interesting to see um and see if it has any impact on the yield check out dad's veggie garden here that's very impressive it's got a nice looking nectarine tree in the middle there too well done dad right now though we're just putting some water in ready for tomorrow more spraying and hopefully canola sowing tomorrow another lovely morning we are on the job we've got to get the chemical that i need to spray on my canola today and we've got to get the canola seed and the plan is hopefully to get the canola sown but wait and see how far we get i guess all right we made it up here We've got the canola seed here. Um, the rest of the chemical we brought up as well. Pick this bit of wire up so that we don't get a flat tire. Given that last year was our first year growing beans, we've never really sown into a bean stubble, especially on such a big year. Um, big yielding year the beans were last year. Um, there's people around that are raking and burning their beans. I think we can get through ours, but I'm not sure. Right now we're going to take the air seeder over to the bean stubbles and just see if we can sow through them just before we go and spray the paddock. Because once we spray the paddock with the pre-emergent stuff, we can't really rake it and burn it. We're out here in the paddock and we just had a go. Seems to be actually going all right, but we just hit a thick patch and it has blocked up. Oh, broken a bolt off there too. Hmm. Um, yeah, that's really not what I wanted to see. The footy's on and the bombers are winning. A bit's been going on. We took the truck around two miles and got some fertilizer. Um, we're going to take this down to the air seeder, fill it up, and calibrate it. We've already calibrated the canola seed, so that's right to go. We just got to get the fertilizer in. Not much of a truckie, but they tip a long way up. This stuff is MAP and urea mixed together. Should be real good for the canola, hopefully. All right, this year we've gone for Pioneer um, 44Y94 Clearfield canola. So. While I was windrowing, I asked some people what varieties they were growing, and um, most of them were growing that. And they grow some stomping big crops, so hopefully we can do the same. There we go, now it feels like seeding. Do ourselves a crank test to make sure it's sowing. Oh, it's hard to see. Very hard to see. Well, I'm happy enough that there's seed and fertilizer coming out each one. Can't see the seed under everyone. Can see fertilizer under everyone. And there's seed under easy ones to look at. There's one. We'll say that it's right to go. Yeah. Time to start sowing. We're into it. Can I 
solar seeds are going in the ground. Well, I hope so. That little handle back there is turning, so something's coming out. Plant 23 is underway. The dust coming up but it is actually quite moist underneath looking really good Possibly one of my favorite drone flights I've done. That was incredible. <laughs> yeah, amazing. These smokes come in from a, a burn off that someone else is doing. And with the sunset, it looked great, I think. So, yeah, but um, unfortunately, Essendon couldn't get, it, get up. Uh, Essendon, the Bombers, Australian Rules Football are up by by uh, like 21 points and <laughs> Collingwood came back in the last quarter and won by 13. Anyway, that's all right. So Anzac Day is the characteristic, or Anzac Day is the traditional start of cropping around here. It's sort of, you can't really go wrong sowing Anzac Day or after Anzac Day. So it's pretty cool to get going on Anzac Day. But um, yeah, it is a special day for Australians and New Zealanders to remember the people who fought so bravely for us so that we could have the life that we have now because who knows what our life would be like had they not done the job that they'd done. So um, to anyone who's in the Defence Force, been in the Defence Force, um, thank you very much. I, I and all the other Australians appreciate it immensely. I'm on my way back home now for tea and have a quick bite to eat and then I'll go back and take over from dad and I'll do some more tonight. Well I was back at home having some tea and the neighbour called us. Um, I lit up a couple of piles of sticks along the fence here before I headed off and one got burning very well, burnt from over there along a small trail of, of grass onto this tree. Burnt right out <laughs> under the tree and to the road. So thank you to them for, for um, letting us know. Hmm. It's amazing how easy it can happen. Now I didn't think it was going to go anywhere because it's all green, but it did. But I brought the fire cart up and put it out 
So it's all good. I'm just finding some hot spots at the moment and making sure it doesn't go any further because tomorrow is going to be windy and warm. Amazing that the pile just over there caught the uh, tree alight. And this pile here didn't even burn. I don't know what the difference was, but anyway, just decided it wasn't going to. The rest of it's burnt up pretty well though. This was another pile. It's pretty good. Let's kick these ends in. Hopefully it all burns up. Very good. We're into it. sensor plate because it doesn't read very well what we need is an ISO bus kit that puts it all through there one day going very good not picking up too much bean stubble we're not blocking up with it anyway it's just going nicely well the fence is there but it's pretty smoky you can't really see it Lucky I've got the boundaries mapped in. Alright, so I'm just doing the headland now. Um, and what I've done is I've switched to Smart Path. See up there it says Smart Path. Um, and what that does, when you're near the boundary, it creates a pass exactly the right width from the boundary. So that boundary is recorded when I was spraying. So that means that... Oh, bump the revs back. <laughs> That means that the crop is going to be sown exactly to the edge of where I spray to. I just think that's really cool and really neat. <laughs> what it does highlight is how far away from the, uh, from the fence I spray. Ah, well, starting to come in slightly cool. And as you might be able to tell, there's a lot hanging on it now. A lot of stuff. Um, I presume this is why people burn their bean stubbles. Because they don't want to be under here crawling around and getting them off the tines. Which is completely understandable. I don't know how much you can hear or see. Oh, that is packed in pretty tight. I don't think you can really see anything. Anyway, you'll have to take my word for it. I wish we had a disc seeder. <laughs> that comes with its own problems. All right, here's the last little bit of the first paddock of plant 2023. 20, Look at that flag out the back. She's going really good. <laughs> uh, very good. I was gonna keep going, but I'm gonna have to knock off because I think it's coming in cold out there and um, all the stubble's starting to block up a bit, so it's supposed to be warm tomorrow, we'll just come back tomorrow, do it tomorrow. Now, I know you can't see anything of this, maybe the moon, oh there it is, but 
one thing I love doing is just walking at night with no lights on you can hear everything you can see so many stars it's just really cool so if you're in a country area I encourage you go out one night turn all the lights off turn your phone off and yeah just look around good morning YouTube that is an incredible sunrise. All right, we're back out here spraying. Um, I got caught last night in an inversion. Um, right when I finished that other paddock, it uh, everything just went way too still and started hanging around so I pulled up and it's supposed to get windy today so I've come back early to uh, get it done this morning anyway seems to be going all right at the moment hopefully the product went okay sitting in the tank overnight Just got the last four bags of canola seed up here. We're gonna stick them in and we can start sowing. So, I only put three bags in. Reason being, I think the rate is slightly under where we need to be, but that's better than using it too fast. Um, I'm just gonna leave this bag full on the air seeder. I'll sit it there like that, that should be fine. Um, just in case we don't need it, and then we can sell it, because this stuff is expensive, like really expensive. All right, so I noticed this press wheel was wobbling around a heap. The bearings are no good, so I've just bunched, punched out the old ones and I got a couple of new ones here to put in. Now we just got to put it all back together. There we go. Spinning good as now. Quick crank test to make sure it's coming out. Which it seems to be, which is good. We're right to start seeding. So this here is one of the strips that didn't get sown with beans last year. As you can see, it's a bit grassy. Um, yeah, it all seems to be going through fine. There is some weeds in there, but they're not hanging up too much, which is good. Soil conditions though are really almost perfect. Um, there's borderline almost enough moisture in the soil for the canola to germinate but we have some showery weather coming up. Uh, there's a chance of between one to five mils of rain tonight, um, and then a few more mils following that. Um, a few, few showery days to come. So we'll get some rain, and it should be enough to wet up the seed trench and um, get it all growing. So hopefully it'll just be the perfect start because we still have really good soil temps and that should, yeah, help it all get growing really quick. Well, switching it off. 
That's because Chels and Jetty and Alex are here and it's lunchtime. How's your picnic, Jetty? Good? You look pretty happy. No, it's not. <laughs> I was just sitting here eating my lunch, looking at the bar. I had a look at this caster wheel and I thought, yep, that looks all right. And I looked at this one. I thought, that seems a bit odd. Why would it be like that? So I came and had a look and it's broken out underneath there. The pin. This pin that goes right through, goes right through there, and it's come unwelded on the bottom. So, um, if we kept going anymore, the wheel would fall off, eventually. So we're gonna have to fix it. What we're gonna do is let the bar down so the weight's off the wheel, then we'll take the wheel off, take, take all this hub off, take the wheel off, then we've gotta take these nuts crack these nuts up here, take them off, and drop the whole thing out the bottom. And then go and weld it all up. And hopefully have it all back together before it rains tonight. You've got a bean stem, Jetty. It's a good toy. So that was definitely the problem that's broken out down the bottom here. Someone's repaired it before, but obviously not good enough. Um, we'll take it home and wash it all up and see if we can't get it all stuck back together. Dad's going to turn the tank on because our ag bot let us know that it was running out, but We've got this all back in, we've cleaned it up and pushed the pin through a bit further so that the pin is actually pushing on the side, not just relying on the welds. See how that goes, it'll definitely be better than what it was when it was broken. Right, that should be a fair bit stronger, hopefully. Let's hope it lasts for a while. Done, fixed. Start the tractor up, take the ute away and get back into it. Have a look what came in the mail too. Um, heard it clunk when I picked it up. Look at this, an ag leader seed depth gauge. That'll be handy, very handy. All back going again. And you might have seen a patch that we've been going around. That patch just there. Um, I was contacted by a mob from Horsham and they wondered if I'd be interested in doing a, a tr canola trial um, with a specific type of weed. Uh, this paddock's had a history of the weed, but I think I might have controlled it too well because we can't find any weeds on there, but we're going to wait and see what comes up a little bit later. But that's what's going on there, uh, canola trials. So look out for that in the future. Um, yeah, hopefully I'll have a bit more stuff on it. It'll be interesting, that's for sure. I'm very interested in trials and that kind of thing. So I'm very much looking forward to it. There's the tree where my fire got out. <laughs> oh, a bit embarrassing. Anyway, this paddock is all but done. And we'll be on to the last paddock of canola. To you it might look like a normal fence, but I cut a gate in here this morning so I can get to the next paddock. 
just so happens that this gate that I cut in the fence also lines up to my spray tracks so I can spray straight through into the next paddock. We better check there's still seed in there. Still some in there. I don't know why it's built up over the left more. Might get down there and scrape it in, I reckon. find it really, really hard to tell how much is left there, so I still don't know whether we'll need that other bag. Anyway, it's going out, but it's not going out too fast, which is good. I'm just a bit worried that something's blocked over there. coming out every hose I think so we'll call it good tell you what getting sick of getting out and unblocking it burning breaking the rose up and burning it all would have been made sewing it a lot easier but would have taken a fair bit of time so I'm still in front by doing it like this, at the moment anyway. It would have to take me a very long time to sew this paddock to be not in front. Got the lights on. We're up to 13 and a half hectares, which means we've got uh, four left, three and a half left, something like that. It's going pretty good. Oh, apart from the block that I can see. I'll deal with that. I was lazy. I was lazy. I thought I had enough canola easy to make it to the end. Just had a look with the headlands on this end to do and half a pass down the side of the paddock and I've run out. And now, the last time I checked was with about four hectares to go now I'm not going to re-sow all of that because I don't think that I've been run out for all of that time um, but I will do the headlands down the other end the paths I've just driven on and maybe even the one before that I should have hopped out and looked lucky I still have that last bag of canola seed <laughs> So we're coming along the fence here. Um, this pass, this one just here, this one right there, is the only one I'm skeptical about. I redid the one that I did just before I knew I ran out. I redid the headlands down the other end. I'm doing this fresh pass. It's just that one that I'm not sure about. I'm pretty sure the headlands will be double sewn. Um, I don't. I think it was still sewing on the headlands. Maybe. Anyway, I guess we'll have to see when it comes up. It's getting half overlapped anyway, so there'll just be, I don't know, about nine meters or something like that that it's missed out on. Anyway. We'll have some seed left over if we have to come back and patch it out. Won't be like the beans last year that never got patched out. <laughs> right, this is it. The last pass of canola. Unless we have to re-sow some. <laughs> uh, who knows what will come up.
Hopefully it all comes up. Thick as looking really good. Hopefully we get five mils of rain tonight, which will water it in perfectly. It'll bounce out of the ground and start growing like steam. We'll see, eh? Oh, look at this, Jenny. The rain gauge has got five mils in it. We've had five mils of rain overnight. That's perfect for the canola. Oh, fantastic. A few puddles around. Very good. That should get the canola growing nicely. That's the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Um, all our canola's in. We're just small canola growers, but it's good to get it in early, and I'm excited to see how it grows this year. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.